Hey folks, Tech Nervous here. This is going to be a quick and easy video. I've had a lot of questions about the start and end G code for your printer in Kira 4.5. So I'm going to show you right where to find it and how to change it right now. Here we are in Kira. I will show you here that we are in the latest version, which is 4.5. You can see it says no new version was found. And that's what we want to see. That lets us know we have the latest version installed. So what you want to do is, uh, I already have my Ender 3 selected here. I want to go to Manage Printers, and then Machine Settings. And this is going to be pretty obvious once you see it. So it's right here. The Start and NG code, they've been removed from their own separate tab over here. And they are now residing down here at the bottom of this page. As you can see in mine, if we scroll back up. I'm basically going to home all axis, move the Z up a little bit, move to the start position, and then I draw a purge line. My purge line goes down the left side of the bed as far to the left as it'll go and basically clears anything from the nozzle and makes it basically so I don't have to print a skirt. But uh, there's also the NG code here, and there is separate spots for the actual extruder itself in case you need to retract or anything like that. You'll put that in here. and. It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, quick little video. I thought I'd throw this out there. I know some people have been having trouble finding that. It seems pretty obvious, but kind of easy to miss those two little boxes at the bottom there. So, hope that was helpful. And if you're around here a lot, you might notice that I try my best to respond to comments, but as of lately, there have grown to be quite a few of them. Uh, most of the time, you'll at least see that I've left a thumbs up or a heart on your comment to at least acknowledge it. But there are a lot of questions in there, so I'm trying to get those put together and answered in the best way that I possibly can. This video is to answer one of those. Uh, if you have any more questions, anything to do with any of these three printers back here, especially the Ender 3, the TiVo Tarantula Pro, or the ET4, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I'd like to get a list of them and compile them into one video to kind of save time and also reduce the amount of short videos I do like this. Now, it doesn't mean you'll stop seeing short videos like this. I think it's a great way to directly answer questions that are asked to me um, because then it's a little bit easier for other people to find when they're searching for the same question than digging through the comments on some other random video. So if there's anything you'd like to know, any questions you have, or any tips that you'd like to impart to other users of these machines, leave them down below. We will compile a list and when that video is done and posted, we will have another ask asking you to leave your questions there. So this is my way of kind of trying to keep a little bit better track of that and i appreciate it guys don't forget to leave a like down below hit that subscribe button we got a lot more stuff coming your way and tech universe out as always this channel is brought to you by the spine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on patreon head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous that's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.